Hi everyone, this is Tony from Sack Studios. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to have a little fun. Uh, recently, College Humor, that's a popular channel here on YouTube, they've come out with uh, part two to their Photoshop rap video that they had earlier in the year. And uh, it's quite funny. It's a great song. I, re I recommend you watch it. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you haven't seen it. It goes over basically extracting... Uh, this poor guy's cat who's passed away and CMY Killer is going to help him really just make that, that picture pop. So the message that they use in the video actually they're, they're valid. They, they can be done that way but I'm going to go through it changing a few things doing it a little faster. Uh, <laughs> don't want it to be exact because I don't like getting sued. Love you college humor. Okay, so let's start out with a picture of our kitty cat. So we're going to open it up. That This is our cat. Sorry for the poor resolution. Not going to tell you what I had to do to get this picture, but you'll understand if you watch the video. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and grab our quick selection tool. So let's just go ahead and just start grabbing the cat. Now in the video they recommend you use the channels palette over there and you can do that but this is much easier so if you out if you uh, go over your bounds no problem just hold alt and then just gently go around where you need to be and it will grab your kitty cat for you there and a couple places you might have to gently, especially around the tail. Now this can be done with any cat in any way. I'm just using this one because it's similar to the one they used in the video. Alright, so we have our cat selected. Now, we're going to go up here and click Refine Edge. We're going to turn on Smart Radius. And we're going to bump that up just a hair. Maybe one to one one point oh one pixel and then we're going to go ahead and hit feather we're just going to feather it a little bit that makes it less jagged now in the wrap they said you know if your cat's looking jagged and wrecked you know you can fix it with a feather select but you can kind of do it all right here and and this is kind of the fun part so we're going to decontaminate colors i'm going to go ahead and crank that up and we're going to have it output to a new layer so let's go ahead and choose OK. So now without a whole lot of trouble and a lot less wrapping, we have our cat extracted. Now let's take a look up here and see how big our, our uh, image is actually. So it's 647 by 950 pixels. So let's go ahead and make a new one. Let's go with so 800 by 900. Just nice round number here okay so go ahead and have that fit the screen so now what we're going to do is grab our gradient tool yes good old gradient alright and we're gonna make sure we have our linear gradient selected we're gonna go ahead and just choose black to white there so what we want is our foreground to be white and our background to be black so Let's go ahead and make sure we have it set up this way. And you just want to just grab and drag across your document, just like so. And you see what happens there? If you grab the wrong one, it will change the color on you. So I did that on purpose because I wanted you to see. It, it will work either way, but in the video, their black was on the other side. So let's change this up a little bit. So let's back that out and let's fix that by choosing the correct black to white gradient. Okay. Now when we grab it and drag it across, we see we have the black on the right side. Well, actually, looking at it, it's the left side, but it would be the right side if you were it. So, all right, now that we've done that, we're going to run up here to 
our filters and we're gonna go ahead and go down to render let's go ahead and render some clouds All right. and then let's go ahead and do it again but this time we're gonna choose render difference clouds now I'm doing this a little different than they did it because like I said love color trimmer don't want to get sued alright control I to invert alright now what we're gonna do is use and I'm, I'm a big advocate of layer styles because they're they're non-destructive so we're gonna go ahead and add a levels layer style if this box appears here go ahead and uncheck it because we want it to affect the whole thing so we're just gonna darken it down and you start to see we we kinda get this lightning effect to look at it looks really kinda awesome so play with that however you like it alright then we're gonna go ahead and add another layer style hue and saturation let's click colorize and in the video they had blue lightning um, I'm gonna go with more of a green lightning um, just because like I said don't wanna get sued love you color humor okay so and you can change the lightness however you like you know so now we've got our background set we're gonna come over here and we're gonna grab our marquee and we're just gonna grab our cat and we're gonna come back over you know we just controlled seed or you can go up to edit and copy we're just gonna paste our kitty cat in here and there's our cat and I'm just gonna resize him a little bit because he's looking pretty huge all right alright so now we have our cat into the picture so next we're gonna make a new layer we're gonna go up here and grab our circle marquee and we're gonna hold shift and in about this area here we wanna line it up close to the mouth hold shift so we expand equal distance something like that so you see see how that, that happens here now because what we're going to do is make a fireball we're gonna come out to about right here and let go alright now that we have made our new layer we need our gradient tool All right, and we're gonna need a quad color gradient now I've made one already and I'm gonna choose it so you can take a look at it um, it's very easy to make a gradient it doesn't have to be quad color it's really up to you uh, but for the fire effect so for the orange colors we've got FF6E02 and that's the same for all the orange and the yellow is going to be FFFF00 okay so we're gonna use that I'm gonna go ahead and change to a radial gradient and let's just just pull through the middle there alright now we've got our nice fireball we're gonna get it started so control D which will deselect it now we're gonna go ahead and grab our smudge tool it's over here hiding with the blur and the sharpen so we're gonna smudge and my smudging I'm gonna do this kinda quick cause as we all know we don't have a whole lot of time when it comes to YouTube videos 15 minutes tops we're just gonna smudge it in to make it look like it's it's a fireball coming from his mouth because he looks really pissed but anyway alright so now that we've done that let's go ahead and we're gonna do a filter and we're gonna do a blur we're gonna do a motion blur alright so I like around a distance of 27 at an angle of about 34 degrees hit OK now we're gonna go ahead and duplicate that layer alright and we're gonna change the blending mode to hard light bam alright now in the picture in the the picture here we we see we've got our blurred fireball and it looks a little off but if you watch the video they recommend going to Google searching fire and effing the copyright I don't recommend you do that but I did find a picture that is like their fire that will not infringe on the copyright because you don't want to go to jail but you know it's all in fun they're just playing around and so it makes it fun so grab it control C then we're gonna control V right in here alright we're gonna control T or click show transform tools 
we need to turn it around. All right, so we need the fire. Go about like that right there. All right, now that we've got that there, we're going to go ahead and apply the transformation. And we're going to right click on that layer and create a clipping mask. Now, as you can see, we can remove our transform controls. The fire is a little uneven, so let's move it around a little bit. That looks better. Now we're going to lower our master opacity on that just a hair to about 65%. Maybe a little more, a little less. You play with it, see how you like it. You know, 60, 65% there. All right. So now we have our cat going through space with fireball he's blowing out of his mouth that is a basic simple version of what actually happened in the tutorial now they don't explain a lot of things that you really would need to know if you were going to try to do this so you know take a picture of your cat see what you can do with it have some fun with it uh, remember you can always follow us on twitter at psych underscore studios uh, you can check out Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash studios. I hope you enjoyed this. Remember college humor. Don't sue me. I love you. You're funny. I watch all your videos. Alright, so thanks for joining me guys. Take care. Have a good one.